We previously looked at um, finding vertical asymptotes with your calculator. Now we're going to be looking at vertical, finding vertical asymptotes without your calculator. So at the end of this list, lesson, you will be able to find vertical asymptotes without the aid of your calculator. All right, um, examples are without the aid of your calculator, find the vertical asymptotes. And you'll notice these examples are just like the examples that we're finding the vertical asymptotes with your calculator. What we are going to be doing, a vertical asymptote, um, we will be able to find it at non removable discontinuities. All right, so that's what we are going to be looking for, our non-removable discontinuities. So if I look at the first example, f of x equals 1 over x, um, are there any discontinuities? Yes, at x equals 0, the graph is continue, discontinuous because we would get an undefined answer if I plugged in 0 for my x. And can I remove that? Is there anything up in the, the numerator that I can cancel with the x? And the answer is no. So there is a non-removable discontinuity at x equals 0, which means that x equals 0 is a vertical asymptote of this function. If I were to graph this, we would see that vertical asymptote. And we would also see the limit approaching infinity or negative infinity. All right, the number four, we have f of x equals x plus 2 over x squared minus 3x minus 10. So first of all, we just need to find the discontinuity. So I'm going to factor that denominator. That will factor as x minus 5, x plus 2. So I know the graph is discontinuous at x equals 5 and at x equals negative 2. Discontinuous. All right, we just need to decide, are either of these non-removable? Well, I notice that I can cancel the x plus 2. So x equals negative 2 is a removable discontinuity. So actually, there would be a hole there. So x equals 5, that is where, since that's non-removable, that is where we will see a vertical asymptote. So x equals 5, the line x equals 5, will be a vertical asymptote. And that is pretty much it. So now hopefully you can find vertical asymptotes without using your calculator.